Horrors, one of my favorite movies, based on the musical of the same name. It's one of those ideas that's so funny because the plot is so ridiculous that all the characters take it really seriously. Basically, it's about a nerdy florist shop worker named Seymour. Daddy. I was walking in the wholesale flower district that day. Who discovers a never before seen kind of plant. I think it's some kind of fly trap, but I haven't been able to identify it in any of my books. I gave it my own name, though. I call it an Audrey too. After me? I hope you don't mind. He alone makes the grisly discovery that it feeds only on human blood. I've given you sunlight. I've given you rain. Looks like you're not happy. Unless I open a vein. People come from all over to see this strange and interesting plant. But as Seymour's success grows, so does Audrey too's appetite. I've always been a big fan of dark and twisted kind of musicals like Sweeney Todd or The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors would certainly fit in with those guys. There's something about juxtaposing the scary with a musical aesthetic just checks a lot of my boxes. Today we're going to be making a mini picks movie scene with a video game twist. I usually like to start with the bass and work upwards, so let's begin by making the background. Notice that I put the design down so the change in wall is right there where our pegboards meet. Just in case we get any board lines, they won't be as noticeable. And if they are, it might come off as a cool shading trick. Once the piece is fused together, gently take it off the pegboards. See this part right here? That is a board line. That's what I was talking about. Simply get rid of it by going over it a few more times with your iron on the flat table to get a nice consistent finish. Put some heavy books on top of it while it cools and do the same thing to the rest of the pieces. Little red dots all over the linoleum. Little red spots on the concrete outside. I'm talking blood, Krellborn. Okay, time to assemble. I'm going to be gluing everything to a 9 by 12 inch canvas. Level 1 is the back wall. Level 2, the floor and the column. We'll just use some black foam core to raise it up there. So far so good. Oh, check this out! We could have just left the shelves on the back wall flat, it would have looked good, it would have looked fine. But five minutes of extra effort, I think, makes it so much better. Always look for little touches like that you can do. Now we add Seymour to the scene, and notice that I'm making sure both his hands are in great contrast with what's directly behind them. The gloves he's wearing are cream colored, the same color as the back wall. I don't want them to blend in and get lost, so we use some strategic placement of Seymour, the door, and the column to make them very clear. When working on a scale this small, the viewer needs all the help they can get. Audrey too gets a little foam core backing and on she goes. And there you go my friends, really cool little movie scene. More like a pixel shop of horrors. Ah, but wait, forgive me my friends, but I held out on you guys a little bit, because I'm gonna add this caption. What? Audrey 2 is evolving! There's our video game twist. Check it out, this piece is actually made out of Perler's new mini beads. They are super tiny! About one fourth the size of a regular bead. Just crazy, crazy small, and it was the only way I could fit this much text onto a piece this size. Don't worry, I'm gonna do a whole video on mini beads where we will really take a look at them, but for now, let's finish this piece up. I'll sturdy it up with some black foam core, and hot glue it to the background. 
Done. If you'd like to make your own, click on the piece right there for the patterns on pixelartshop.com absolutely free. And subscribe so you don't miss future projects. Thanks for watching guys, and check out Little Shop of Horrors if you haven't seen it. See you next time.